do you want to be able to de-escalate almost any conflict between you and your spouse? Today I'm going to teach you one skill that's going to help you do that. My name is Bobby Buchanan. I'm the host of Illinois Divorce TV. I'm also a practicing divorce attorney in the Chicagoland area. Let's dive in. So the skill I want to teach you today is called labeling. Basically, it's, it's very simple, but what it is is when someone is upset at you, if you're able to just label their emotion, it immediately drives down the temperature of that motion and will allow the anger or frustration or whatever it may be to dissipate. And this is really simple. If your spouse comes home from work and they they come in the door and they're like, you lazy POS, I can't believe you didn't bring in the garbage again. I just, I'm so sick of you. If you do this one more time, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I, I might regret what I do. Instead of retaliating or reacting to that, and it's this is something where you really got to pause and decide and, and say, you know what, I have control over my emotions. If you're able to pause and instead of reacting and taking it personal or getting your ego involved, just say to the person, wow, you sound really frustrated. And it has to come from a sincerely empathetic place. It can't be passive aggressive. It can't be insincere. You have to really just be able to look at them and say, wow, you sound, you, you seem really angry and frustrated. I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't take the trash in. I'm happy to do that. Um, and I'll, and I'll do it as soon as I'm done with what I'm doing here. You don't need to react emotionally. And if you don't react emotionally, you're not going to give them something to ping off of. And I know this is really hard for people because they feel like they are less of a man or less of a woman if they, you know, just take it, if you will. But what you're actually doing is you're staying in control of the situation. If you react in, in an angry way yourself, just involuntarily, then you're not making a choice. You're just basically allowing yourself, like they say, your buttons are being pushed. And rather than making yourself available to buttons being pushed, and, and surely your spouse knows how to push your buttons, deactivate the buttons and see the situation objectively and look at it and say, okay, what, what am I looking at it? And put a label on it and just say, wow, you, that, that seems really frustrating. If you were hoping that I was going to take in the trash and I didn't, and you feel like I've been not taking in the trash for ever, I could only imagine how frustrating that is. Temperature drops. Your spouse is going to be speechless. I guarantee you that. And you, if you keep doing this, you're going to be able to lower the temperature in your divorce so much that settlement is going to be easy. It's only in the cases where both parties don't know how to control their emotions that the lawyers dig in and bleed the estate of all the money. And I'm talking about the lawyers who take advantage of this sort of situation. There are plenty of lawyers who try to bring down the temperature of the parties. And then there's other lawyers who will prey on the high emotional temperature of the parties. The only way to protect yourself from it completely is to be in control of your emotional state and not do things that will allow those sorts of lawyers to latch on and take advantage of the situation. Again, there's good lawyers and bad lawyers in this situation. I have a video on good lawyers and bad lawyers, but I digress. So the skill here today is labeling. If you're able to step back, be objective in a label and label that emotion, you're gonna be a hundred times further along than most people going through a contested divorce. I hope this helped. Drop your comments, questions, or concerns in the comment box below and I'm happy to help.